What's up guys, Matt here, and I'm excited to be back today with day three with my key takeaways from Jay Shetty's program, 2021 Reset, New Habits for a New Time. Now, if you haven't checked out the videos for day one and day two, my key takeaways from his program, it'll pop up on the screen here and in the description below. So make sure to check those out. They're about how to create new habits and how to break bad habits. As a quick recap, what I'm doing here is I've gone through all five days of his program, 2021 Reset, and I'm releasing a new video for each one with the key learnings so that you can implement these steps and build the life that you want to build. Because at the end of the day, it's not so much where you're from or what's happened to you or what advantages or disadvantages you've had in life. It's the habits that you take part in every single day that is gonna make the difference. It's gonna be the difference that makes the difference. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much, I really appreciate you. If you haven't, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. We produce content on motivation, personal growth, and communication skills. Okay, let's get right into it. Day three of Jay Shetty's program, 2021 Reset, is all about morning routines and nighttime routines. Now the idea here is that having the right morning and nighttime routines are like putting on a bulletproof vest. It makes you ready to face the day. It makes you far more likely to have the kind of days you want. And the thing is, even if you have a bad day, one of those days where everything just seems to go wrong, if you can get that morning routine and that nighttime routine locked in, it's still a successful day because you've still worked on yourself and you've still progressed. And the idea with these routines is that we take control back of our days. We're not just waiting for something good to happen to us, for someone to say something nice. We are taking responsibility and doing what we can to make every day count. If there's a scale up to 10 in terms of how good your day can be, if you wake up first thing in the morning and you know, read negative news and expose yourself to things that bring you down, you're starting off each day probably a minus three, a minus four. But if you can have the right morning routines, before anything even starts, you might get yourself up to having a four or a five out of 10 day, and that gives you the rest of the day to try to get up to that eight, nine, 10 out of 10 kind of days where you just feel on fire, everything's working for you. And that has to be the goal. Okay, so let's get right into it. What's the morning routine that Jay Shetty swears by? The one that is gonna give you success in your life. Now, after going through Jay Shetty's program, if there's one thing I've learned about the guy, it's that that man loves an acronym. If there's an opportunity to use an acronym, he takes it. And the morning routine is no different. The acronym he uses for it is TIME, okay? The T, the first thing, stands for thankfulness or gratefulness. Write down in a post-it note, what am I grateful for? Stick it beside your bed. And every morning you see that. And you think about what you're grateful for. It's just gonna put you in the right headspace, give you the right kind of energy to start your day. And the other benefit is that the more you practice being grateful, the more you're gonna automatically find other positive things throughout the rest of the day without even having to try. This is how you make yourself a more positive person. Now, one of the most important things to do though with gratitude is to be as specific as possible. I'm gonna give you a scenario here. Let's say you did a presentation and two people give you compliments. The first says, hey, great job in the presentation. Nice compliment, feels good. The second person says, I love the way you took a topic that is complicated and often sort of boring, but you made it interesting. I felt like everybody in the room was on the edge of their seats, like they just didn't want it to end. See the difference there? That second compliment, because it was specific, is so much more meaningful to us. If you heard that, I mean, you'd be walking on air afterwards. The second thing, the I in time, stands for inspiration. Every morning, find something to be inspired by. It could be a person, it could be a book, a podcast, a video, anything but get something that sets you off on the right foot, makes you feel like you wanna make something of today, that today's gonna be a good day. One thing that I've done is I've, I've put some inspirational quotes on my bathroom mirror. So every morning I'm brushing my teeth, I read the quotes. And I gotta say, it, it psychs me up. 
It makes me ready to just go out there and face the day, even if I feel tired or low energy. It just puts you in the right frame of mind to make the most of that day. The third one is M for meditation. Now we've talked about this before in some of the other videos, but I mean, guys, the reality is the most successful people in the world swear by meditation. This is not a coincidence. Meditation, it's proven to lower the amount of stress in your life, the amount of anxiety. It can give you more focus and more energy. That practice of just being present in a world where we're doing it less and less is becoming more and more important. So that's the third thing, meditate. The fourth, the E in time, is exercise. Every single morning, you gotta do some kind of exercise. Now with COVID and so many people working from home, a lot of people no longer have a commute, so they're no longer exercising. They're no longer getting that walking in maybe to public transport or maybe they're walking to work. We gotta make a fake commute if necessary. At a minimum, five minutes, walk around the block a few times, minimum. That's just gonna get your body moving, get you prepped, get you primed, get you ready to go for the day. I know for me, I bought this Fitbit here and I mean, I've started working from home as well. And I was shocked at the beginning. A few times, it'd be six o'clock, I'd look at the Fitbit and be like, oh my God, I've barely moved all day. It's so important today, now more than ever, to consciously make exercise each morning a priority. Now the nighttime routine. Again, there's another acronym of course, and appropriately, it is night. The N is for no phone, device, or tablet, one hour before bed. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't wanna hear that, because for most of us, looking at our phones is the first thing we do in the morning and the last thing we do at night. But guys, I've been doing this for a few weeks now, and this makes a huge difference. Not using your phone an hour before bed just helps you unwind so much. It's gonna prime you for better sleep and to be in the right headspace before you go to bed. The second thing, the I in night is for intentions. Set your intention for tomorrow, today. If you had an important meeting tomorrow, if you had a job interview, or if you were meeting somebody really important, would you just turn up at the meeting unprepared? Of course not. You would prepare for it. You would mentally prepare for that meeting to make the most of it. So why don't we do it with our own days? Take the time each night to set your intention for the next day. It makes a huge difference. It could be something like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up healthy and energized. Or tomorrow I'm gonna have one of those productive days where I am just on point. I'm just laser focused, getting everything done, and I'm having fun at the same time. What if we put that kind of thought into our mind before we sleep? How much more likely are we to have that kind of day? It, this works, guys, you gotta try it. The G in night is for gratitude. So we had thankfulness and gratitude in the morning, and we have it in the evening as well. So often stuff happens during the day that gets to us. Someone's been bothering you at work or they cut you off in traffic. We can let this negativity come into our mind. By practicing gratitude as part of our nighttime routine, it's just consciously bringing that proper energy, that positivity back into our mindsets. The H at night is for heal. Now, linked to the last point, Let's say we have a rough day. It's been tough. Someone's been insulting you or offending you or shouting at you and you're carrying this pain with you. What do we normally do about it? Well, we just try to block it out or push it away or throw it away. But we don't actually deal with the pain. We don't process the pain. And what happens when you do that? You don't actually get rid of it. You carry it, it's like you stick it on your back and you carry it with you. And you might carry that pain for days, weeks, months, even years. I've seen it for years, I've seen it for decades. You gotta heal that pain. And you do it by writing about it, by journaling, or by talking to people about it. Heal your pain so you don't take it with you. And the T at night is for time. Set a time to go to bed 
or you won't go to bed on time. We are creatures of habit. It is so important to be consistent and to know what time you're gonna to go to bed. And that is what's gonna make it so much easier to actually follow through. Now guys, don't try to do all this at once. Implement all that morning routine, all that nighttime routine, all at the same time. It's gonna to be too much. And what you might end up doing is giving up altogether. We don't want that to happen. Start off at one thing at a time. Make it a habit and then move on to the next thing. If you can implement this morning routine and this nighttime routine, it could change everything for you. It could be what takes you to the next level. Make 2021 a year to remember. To everyone who subscribed to the channel already, thank you so much, guys. Honestly, I genuinely appreciate you. All the comments, all the likes, means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, you get new videos on motivational content and personal growth. Make sure, check in for the next video, next week's video. It's gonna be on day four of Jay Shetty's program, 2021 Reset, and it's focused on two things that cause us so much stress in life, money and time. I will see you in the next video.